my name is KW. As always, this is an honors review. And before we get started, I want to thank everybody who liked, subscribed, and watched my JBL review for the JBL PRX1. I never thought in a million years I would get that many views so quickly. So again, thank you very much. And now on today's business, today we're going to be reviewing the Electrovoice Evolve 30 EV30M line array system. Stay tuned. All right, welcome back, gang. So, what's in the box? Well, you get one base, which includes a thousand watt Class D amplifier, 10 inch sub, and on the back, a seven channel mixer. You get two aluminum poles, the line array speaker, which contains six 2.8 inch high frequency drivers, the tote to carry the speaker and the poles in and of course instruction manual and IEC cable. Welcome back gang and let's go through the specs and a basic walkthrough of what the Evolve 50 can do and what it has to offer. So first off, let's go with the dimensions. On the Evolve 50, the overall length from furthest point to furthest point is going to be 17 and a quarter inches. The width from furthest point to furthest point is 13 inches. And from the bottom of the, <coughs> excuse me, amplifier system to the top is 16 inches. And then the overall height from the ground to the top is 78 and three quarters inches. Alrighty, up front you have a 10 inch driver. You do have a light that lets you know it's on, I believe. You come up the two provided aluminum poles to your line array, and inside the line array is six 2.8 inch high frequency drivers. All right, welcome back, gang. So on the back of the Evolve 30, you have a total of seven inputs. One, two, three, four, five, six Omni Jacks, meaning, and I got asked this question uh, in a private message on Facebook, of all things. Uh, somebody hunted me down and asked me. So what an Omni Jack is, is you can either use a quarter inch inside it, or if you have an XLR, like a microphone cable, you can also use those. And of course, you want to put uh, all your connections in before you turn the unit on. And then you just push these buttons on the to release whatever cables you have input. You have RCA, 3.5 millimeter or eighth inch um, for like your uh, uh, projectors, computers, um, a lot of times you're not going to use it for your computers or your phones. You can usually Bluetooth, but if you are going to be doing audio, I do recommend a hardwire. Um, you do actually have a high input uh, quarter inch for uh, such instruments like uh, acoustics that are you know active or uh, any active instrument. You do have a mix out and an aux out, which is sweet, and then a foot switch. And what the foot switch does is allows you to turn the 30 possible effects on and off that you uh, decide to use that's available here in the unit. Now we're going to power it on. Boom, comes up EV, Evolve 30M, you know, in case you forgot what you bought. Um, it's a very intuitive system. Again, if you have used the Evolve speakers, uh, JBL speakers, Mackie speakers. A lot of the manufacturers are using this type of setup and it's pretty simple. You just push the button there and you can cycle through the menu options ranging from EQ to Bluetooth streaming to uh, get to your effects. In this case, because the unit provides effects, you get them in two banks, 22 in the first one eight available in the second bank and you just 
select it, turn it on if you wish to, um, and then cycle through all your available effects. You also your recall and your factory sets there, info on the use it, being able to exit out. To edit a channel, you select the channel you want, you push the master volume button, and that brings up the presets, compression, or compression uh, your EQs if you want to further EQ the channel separately, and then uh, you can turn your effects on and off, effects to. Uh, here uh, I have it negative 45 also on the effects units uh, here on the effects here when you select them you have to uh, Turn them up to be able to hear them if you leave them down at the lowest setting You're not going to even uh, notice any of the effects. So make sure you do that and then when you're done Go up to exit takes you back to the input Turn it off and then you can move on to your other channels. By the way, there is an app available for this. I was going to film uh, film that app or uploading of that app. However, it needed to be updated, and depending on the update, you can take anywhere from four minutes to an hour. And I was like, "Fuck that shit." Um, nobody has the time, and unfortunately, YouTube only allows most of us content folk about fifteen minutes. Um, to do stuff, so I bypassed it. So uh, I will put a picture of those uh, of the app um, somewhere on here in the spec department. And then uh, for now, we're going to go ahead and uh, get it EQ'd for a sound test and uh, do a single sound test, and then we'll do final thoughts after the sound test. We'll bring you back here shortly. Ciao, gang. All right, gang, welcome back. So I've got the Evolve 30 set up for a sound test. Unfortunately, my camera, etc., isn't big enough to, I guess, make things happen properly. So I guess we'll just kind of, ah, what the heck, we'll just keep it going at the top and we'll adjust angles as it goes. I uh, got the mic set up. And uh, yeah, we'll go and get ahead and get the audio uh, started. I'm uh, going to bring it in uh, gradually as not to blast everything. I have already gone and kind of tested it out. Um, if you're curious about my EQing on this, I have the treble set to plus six, the mid set to plus three, um, the bass is set to plus six, and the sub level is brought up to plus five and uh, got it sounding pretty good. So let's get going and I will bring it up, uh, the volume up very slowly. Let me lift the pieces Now I wanna burn all the bridges between us right. Now we'll bring it up a little louder. bring the volume back down the initial test I, I you are gonna have to EQ it right out of the box it is not perfect um, however with that said with the proper EQ and in the area that I'm using um, it seems like it just right it'll differ for your venue your uses etc um, definitely not a bad way to go um, yeah sounds really great it's as expected um, from Electro Voice, what I got out, you get some nice clean highs. Um, out of the 10-inch sub, you get an awesome punchy 
uh, low out of it, um, nothing too ear piercing, um, nothing's an intrusive or nothing is intrusive as far as frequency goes. It's very well balanced. Um, not bad, I must say. Uh, I think I'm going to go ahead and skip a, a second audio test. Um, I don't think we really need it. That, uh, that was actually pretty good. So I'm going to go ahead, kill the camera here. I'm going to turn this off, get everything switched up, and I'll give you my final thoughts on this. Welcome back, gang. And this is my final thoughts on the Electrovoice Evolve 30M. This is a wonderful system. For a 1,000 watt unit that's bi-amped, you can't go wrong. Having the seven channel mixer is ideal for the singer songwriter. And uh, having the the wattage at a at a thousand five hundred for the sub five hundred up top um, is definitely enough power for most venues. Um, the max SPL on this is one hundred twenty three dB, so this thing does get loud. And for those of you who are curious about coverage, it does one hundred and twenty in the uh, in the hor is it the horizontal? Yeah, one hundred and twenty degrees in the horizontal, and forty degrees in the vertical, which is uh, for most venues is going to be plenty of coverage. Of course, it never never hurts to have two for true left and right which is really really neat um i like the the idea of the added effects on it too um having a san, uh, seven band uh, uh graphics eq is really cool uh if you're a singer songwriter and you want to be able to turn effects on and off um you can do so with the switch you don't have to bring effects racks or pedals uh if you're obviously happy with the effects that uh Electro Voice provides. If not, of course, you can bring your own pedals or use them simultaneously uh, and be able to turn either your pedals off or the effects in the uh, EV off. That is just really, really, really wonderful. Um, I really have nothing bad to say again about the unit. If you need more, and what I mean by that is if you need more out of a line array system, um, you could look to the Evolve 50. Um, the Evolve 50, I believe, has three or four channels um, as far as that goes. I think it's like two Omni inputs, uh, Bluetooth, and then a 3.5 millimeter. And then you have the, uh, the mix out, which is great. Um, you could also go with the Evolve 50M, which is basically an Evolve 50 with the same mixer, I believe, as the Evolve 30. So if you need more punch out out of out of your sub and out of your tops the evolve 50 is going to have a 12 inch sub and it's going to have uh i believe eight high frequency drivers up in the line array column um, another good choice again would be the jbl prx1 um, which i did a um, review on and if you haven't seen that, you can check it out. Um, and of course, uh, the new Bose stuff is going to be really good. Yamaha makes a uh, uh, a stage pass line array, I believe is what it's called. That's not too shabby. Um, a little smaller mixer, but still really good. Um, if you have questions about the array sway on this, like I discussed on the JBL video, this does have a little bit of column sway. <clears throat> Excuse me, but nothing really bad um, as far as that goes. The one multi-function button that's on the back is very sturdy. It doesn't have a lot of wiggle or anything like that. Uh, of course, you still want to be careful during transport. They do um, make a tote slash gig bag for the amp uh, sub column um, sold separately. And I believe you can get those from Sweetwater and B and H and Guitar Center and all those got Amazon. You know, pick your poison. You can probably get it from there. Um, and that's something I do recommend. Like most gear, if you are going to use this commercially, uh, being at like bars, corporate events, wineries, clubs, uh, churches, all that type of stuff. If uh, the dealer you're buying it from offers a performance protection plan again i do recommend it especially with tower sway uh all that stuff just you know protect your gear if it's not something that electro voice would cover uh like accidents wear and tear that type of thing at least you know you're not out um the money you paid for this speaking of at the time of this filming the evolve 30m i believe is twelve hundred ninety nine dollars ninety nine um 
and that's pretty even across the board, uh, whether you go through Sweetwater or Guitar Center or b uh, The unit comes in two colors. You get it in black or you can get it in white. And I'll see if I can find a picture of that and put it up here. Um, yeah, great, great unit. I, I, I have really nothing bad to say at all about this thing. So uh, hopefully you enjoyed this. Hopefully it was somewhat informative. Um, if you want me to dive deep um, into this, I guess, I guess we could. Just let me know uh, in the comments below. I am going to keep this unit. Unfortunately, I did not hold on um, to the JBL PRX1. Um, no fault for the JBL. It's still a great unit, or no fault of JBL. It's still a great unit, but it just wasn't serving what I want or wasn't serving me what I wanted out of it um, and this is so maybe we can come back and visit the mixer and the settings and stuff like that at a later date again gang this is an agenda free uh, channel I do not get free stuff from these vendors uh, at all all this stuff is purchased with my own money so I can give you an honest opinion and I'm not blowing sunshine up anybody's butt um, in the hopes to garner some sort of monetary or materialistic gain so uh, you know if uh, if uh, that means something to you sweet if not well I guess it doesn't so like always gang um, I appreciate you coming back and hanging out with me. If you do have any questions, again, on the Evolve 30, feel free to drop comments down below. Whether good or bad, it lets me know what I'm doing wrong and what I'm doing right, what I can improve on. Um, give it a thumbs up or a thumbs down. Hey, we got people out there. And then uh, don't forget to uh, subscribe as well. I really would like to uh, build this channel and get a good reputation out there for uh, honest reviews. So, again... Thanks so much for the views on the JBL PRX1. Again, I never, ever thought I would get that type of views on it. Um, and uh, gosh, that means a lot. And uh, I hope you enjoy this one just as much. So uh, come back and uh, I think the next review I'm going to do is going to be either the Shure SM7B microphone or the Shure MV7. What do you guys think? Which one should I do? Put a comment down below and uh, and we'll talk about it or maybe we'll do uh, we'll do both of them and we'll have a shootout and uh, see how they both sound and what does what and uh, and go from there. So uh, as always, I hope you all are happy and staying safe out there and love peace and chicken grease. Thanks again, gang. Have a great evening. Ciao.